Welcome to Painting Scripture. Okay, welcome kids to Painting Scripture for Kids. Today I'm joined by Anna and Abby who are going to help me with this Good Friday lesson. So we're going to we're going to talk about Good Friday today and we're going to paint this little project here with some watercolor. And so before we get started, I want Abby to read us this passage that we have from Matthew chapter 27. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him there. Above his head, they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Two rebel, rebels were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads. In the same way, the rebels who were crucified with him all, um, also heaped insults on him. From noon until three in the darkness came over all the land. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, Surely he was the Son of God. So this was Good Friday, and this is not the end of the story, right? Mm -hmm. You guys know no. the end of the story already. Yes. Yes. But Jesus' followers on that Friday, they didn't know the rest of the story. And if you were reading this story for the very first time in the Bible, this would be kind of a surprising ending. This is the centurion who was the Roman soldiers that were guarding Jesus. And he was, in the Jewish time, um, back in Jesus' time, he was the most hated person in the story. The Jewish people hated the centurions. They hated the Roman soldiers because they were occupying their land. So to have been told at the end of the story that the Roman soldier himself thought that Jesus must have been God's son, that would be kind of a confusing ending, right? Yeah. It's like a cliffhanger. It's like a cliffhanger. So if you were reading the story, you'd be like, wait, something must happen next. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. And then you keep, <laughs> and then we keep going because we know what happens on Sunday, Easter Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what we're going to do with our project. I'm going to move that up here. So, kids, before we start painting, you might need to pause the video and get some things. First, you're going to need some paint brushes and some water and a paper towel, um, just for mistakes. And then you need some heavy paper. We have some... Really, like, really heavy. Yeah, we have some heavy craft paper that I bought. Blues. And then we're going to have some blues. So we're going to mainly use three different colors of blue. So I have, it's called cobalt and ultramarine and indigo, which is just lighter and darker blues. And we're going to start with the lightest blue in the center, and then we get like a little bit darker and then a lot darker. And if you want, we added some purple too, just to kind of make it interesting. So if you want, pause your, pause your video and go get all your stuff and come back and join us in a second. Okay, now what you need to do is we're gonna get water on our brush and we are gonna make a very wet square on the paper. So it doesn't matter you, that it doesn't have any color. Right now we're just trying to get lots of water. And if you want to get a really big brush, you can get a really big brush and put this water on the paper. This is why you need um, this is why you need heavier paper. Watercolor paper works really well, but um, heavy craft paper works too. It's just going to buckle a little bit, kind of fold like mine did here. Okay, so you want it really, do we really do the wet. Whole paper? What's that? Do we do the whole paper? Yep, do the whole paper, or you can just leave a tiny edge if you want, whatever you want. But you want to make sure it's good and wet because if it's not wet, it won't spread for you. So you can kind of look to see if you have spots that didn't fill in because you want it to spread, okay? It's okay. No one's going to see if you have little bits there. So the first color we're going to pick is this soft blue. And I'm going to take some off and put it here for you girls. And then watch. And try to make, like, leave like a blank circle in the center there. See how I have a blank circle? You can go back and 
take some of the circle off. I think we need some more paint. Do you see how it kind of, yeah, you can get more paint. Yeah, I definitely need more paint. Yeah, and just get some right there too. It almost looks like tie-dye. Yeah. Because it spreads out, it's really pretty. All right, now let's do the next color. This one's a bright, a brighter blue or a darker blue. Do you guys see that? And a blue. Oh yeah, it's much brighter. And now I'm gonna put it around yeah, the outside. Oh wait, Anna, you need to put yours up more because we can't see it, it's not in the video. All right, so outside? Yep, so now we're doing it on the outside. Ooh, look at that. When you, when you just make a polka dot kind of, it just spreads everywhere. Make sure you put a lot of water on it. Yeah, it needs a lot of water. It doesn't work for some reason. Because I was actually just doing like a circle, that's why. Oh. Well. It kind of looks like it's the same blue. Then get it darker. Put more on your brush yeah, so that it looks a little different. Only a little? Because it's supposed to be like more like a starburst. Could you, you know. also maybe take like a Q-tip and do this? If you still have a paint mm, Yeah, maybe. Because this... Should I spread it more? Cause like, yeah, if you want. I think we're going to go back and do those little rays of um, sunlight at the end. Yeah. You, can, you might want to add even just a little more water. Because that's the fun part is to get the... I think my circle is kind of smaller than yours. That's okay. There's no perfect... Go back and take a and put it in the hole. And send yeah, I'm gonna add. I'm keep this. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> but it's still almost like the same color. I know it's really interesting. All right, what's the next one? The next, the next one is the darkest, darkest blue, which is this indigo. Indigo, which is almost like a navy blue. Do you see? It's almost black. If you don't have this color, you could just add black to a, a blue. Yeah. And I am just going to do this. I'm gonna make. Rectangle. I'm just kind of Do you see that? Yes. And I'm not worried about the bottom so much because the bottom we're going to go back and we're going to put this black hill with the three crosses on it. Mm -hmm. Mine's not that hill. Yeah, so do you see how, like, watch. When you Ooh, put water next that. to it, it should start spreading for you. Do you see that? So you can get, you might want to get even more water because I'm kind of putting more water on mine. And it's not the spreading hand. around a lot. Okay, can you put yours up a little more into the video? Sorry, it's spread, hard to see. Spread, spread, spread. Boom, boom. I'm trying to get a very dark out of it. Oh, this is good. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's a really pretty blue. I'm just gonna try to do like to mix it up a little bit. Do you guys want any purple in yours? Like, yep, definitely. Okay. You could also add some red. You could add any so color cool. you want actually. You could even do this as a sunset, because Jesus um, when he died it was in the afternoon, so you could do maybe an orange and red and yellow sky, or you could do pink and purple orange. sky so whatever you you it want really like it dark. would be pretty background can i just like do you like do, have do half of it like this and do like up here it's like the sunset but like down here do i do violet if you want yeah yeah violet i need to put more water on this thing here more water did you wash this Get more water, water. Um, and I'm not going to wash the brushes. It's okay. At this point, we're not too worried about it. I'm going to keep adding All right, more here's... dark purple to, or dark blue to mine because I want edges that and are really here's dark. purple. Okay. Okay. It's really dark. And it just creates, this makes it a really nice, I'm not interesting. I'm going to be able to do the thing. I'm not going to be able to do the no, it's okay. You, do it you, right you can do it. Don't you worry. I'm going to show you how. I'm mixing some indigo with the purple. And 
Oh yeah, where's your indigo? Okay, I'm gonna grab some That's indigo. Violet. It's violet. Oh, violet. I mean, I'm gonna grab some violet, and I'm just just Ooh, I'm drop it in different places, so it'll make it dark. And you don't need it all over, just have little bits here and there. What are you doing now, Anna? Which color? Uh, I'm trying to mix it up with this one. Oh, so this. it's a little bit of a softer and like violet color. Just be color. careful that you don't get your Okay, so for me, before it dries, I am going to, I'm going to pull up those rays. Do you see those rays? So what you do is you get your, your paintbrush really, really clean and dry, and then you pick a line, and you make a line. You see that? It has to be very wet, and you do it with water. Oh, you're going to do an Abby's method? Yeah, I don't know. I don't like this. Cobalt it's cobalt around. Okay. So I'm going to do, the earlier, if your page hasn't dried yet, it's easier to pull up some color and make little sunbursts. So Anna, your page is perfect if you're ready to do them. Nope, not ready. Is there like a certain doing... spot that you have to do them? Well, you think about it, look at their like sunshine ray, rays of sunshine. Hey. <laughs> oh, you want to keep your middle pen. All right. Is this good? Yeah, I think it's good. So now you're going to take and you're going to draw. Do you see how when I draw my, my paintbrush through there, it kind of picks up some of the paint? And then you have to wash off that one and do it again. And so, and you just make a whole bunch of different ones like starbursts. Do you see that? Ooh, oh, that's perfect, Anna. All right, now that we have finished painting our colors, we are going to go back and we're going to do the hill, the, um, the hill that Jesus was crucified on, and we're going to do the three crosses. And you can see, I made the middle cross bigger and a little darker, but you can do whatever you want. And I also made my hill a little bit two different colors, or I guess I put water on it and the colors change. So if you just use some water first to fill in your hill shape, and then you start to put the black in, that's a really fun way to do it and to see what kind of what happens. So get your brush wet again. And we'll do the same thing we've been doing. Except in the hill motion. Yeah, in the hill motion. I'm doing like this. It starts getting higher. That's okay, because no hill is perfect. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. They're all pretty different. Okay, and now I'm going to take my black. I'm doing it very good. Look right. at that. Look <laughs> at that. Isn't that fun? It just goes. Whoa. Isn't that so it. fun? It travels it's really fast. Right. Really, yours, yours is better than mine. Yours is more wet. I'm trying to get mine too wet because it's already pretty wet. And if Ooh. you need to turn your paper upside down to do the shape of the cross or... All right. Okay, I'm going to turn mine upside down to do the cross, just so that I have a little easier time of it. So I'm going to try to put that big cross right in the middle, but remember, nothing is perfect, so we're just doing our best. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you had fun and enjoyed making your Good Friday class, our project here. And um, thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.